For in other news, we take a look at the news stories that may not be on your radar, but they should be. Trying to get viewers away from Netflix, Amazon Prime, and the like, a theater in Switzerland is now offering theaters with beds. This is for you, Gio. This is called the VIP bedroom screen. Traditional seating has been replaced with double beds. Now, I know what y'all are thinking. Double beds. But double beds. Double beds. You know, like we all have at home, <laughs> right? Uh, the CEO says because of the importance of hygiene, the sheets will be changed after every showing. Oh, that's green. <laughs> they better burn those mattresses out back every couple days or so as well, <laughs> oh my God. especially that's for those 11 p.m. and later. Now, <laughs> ticket prices include free food and drinks, and I would hope a shower and some ointment for that rash. In other news, a man in Wisconsin walked out of a Costco Friday with 24 bottles of Hennessy. Now, surveillance footage shows the man walk right by the registers have a quick chat with an employee at the door, and then walk out. It turns out those receipt checkers aren't there to stop shoplifting. They're there to catch and report cashier mistakes, like charging a customer multiple times or not noticing the dude with a shopping cart full of Henny. Now, the man was later caught by police with the bottles and a home surveillance system that he also took. Hey, you can never be too careful, because if you got that much Henny, you know the hood is coming. And finally, Florence Rigney recently celebrated her birthday on shift at Tacoma General Hospital. This birthday was her 94th, making her the oldest registered nurse in the country. Now working two days a week, she's only called in sick once in 15 years and having just renewed her nursing and CPR license, she doesn't know when she'll give it up, explaining, I never intended to stay this long. It's become a bit of a challenge. Yeah, I imagine challenges do tend to come when you're 94. I can't remember where I parked my car right now. Congratulations to you, Miss Rigney. You inspire us all. Let me know what you think of these stories with the hashtag GetUpDC.